Hey guys, welcome to the first episode in a new series of videos I call Cocktails of the World, where I'll be showcasing different cocktails from different regions from around the globe. If you've got an idea for a cocktail for this series, go ahead and leave a comment. First up, we're going to be doing a summer classic from Italy, the Aperol Spritz. Okay, so what is a spritz exactly? Well, typically it is bubbly, usually with soda water or prosecco. It's also often low alcohol, usually with a bitter liqueur. And finally, it's often drank as a pre-dinner aperitif. The spritz became popular in northern Italy in the early 20th century, but really exploded when Aperol started marketing this drink in the 1990s. Alright, I'm getting thirsty, so history time is over. Grab a wine glass with ice, and we're gonna pour in 2 ounces or 60 mils of our bitter liqueur Aperol. Okay, now it's time for some bubbly, and you really gotta go Prosecco here to keep it with the Italian theme. And uh, look at this cute little seven ounce bottle I got here. So we're gonna actually try to measure out three ounces. It's a bit tough to measure the bubbles, but I'm a stickler for uh, precision. So we're gonna do three ounces or 90 mils right into the glass. Then we're gonna top with one ounce or 30 mils of club soda. So you can use the old three, two, one trick to remember this. Three parts Prosecco, two parts Aperol, one part club soda. We're then gonna garnish with a half orange wedge, and if you were in Venice, you might get this served with a olive. Let's just use that to stir it up a bit here. Insert our sippy cylinder. But before we ruin this moment by awkwardly watching me drink, let's first transport ourselves to Northern Italy. It's 8 p.m. on a warm August evening after a long day, and as the sun sets over the Venetian canals, you put down that tasty crostini as the waiter brings you a fresh spritz. As you raise your glass, you hear the bubbles dancing on the rim, and notice how the orange glow of the drink matches the fiery clouds in the sky. This is La Dolce Vita. Or you're standing in the kitchen of an overpriced San Francisco apartment. And you know what? It's still damn tasty. Bittersweet, refreshing, and low alcohol, it would not be too hard to put away about five of these. What I love about the spritz is how many variations there are. So here we're gonna make the Negroni Spagliato, which basically means mistaken Negroni. And it involves Campari, sweet vermouth, and Prosecco. Fill a wine glass with ice, and we're gonna start by adding one ounce or 30 mils of Campari, which is more bitter and higher alcohol than Aperol. Next up, one ounce or 30 mils of sweet vermouth, which is starting to sound a lot like a Negroni. And then the rumor goes that the bartender accidentally reached for Prosecco instead of gin and made this mistaken Negroni. Here we're gonna add three ounces or 90 mils of Prosecco, although I have seen some recipes call for just one ounce. Once again, we're gonna add in an orange slice, give it a quick stir to mix it all up, drop in our sippy cylinder, and let's uh, give it a taste. Cheers. Okay, this is super refreshing. I mean, it's definitely more bitter than the Aperol Spritz, but if you like a Negroni, you're probably gonna like this. I'm digging the richness of that sweet vermouth, but probably wouldn't drink as many of these. All right, I'm gonna take a crack at my own variation here. So I started by infusing five quartered strawberries in about 10 ounces or a third of a liter of Aperol, infused it in the fridge for about four days, and it is smelling delightful. We're gonna take a double old fashioned glass with a big old rock and pour in two ounces or 60 mils of our strawberry infused Aperol. Then we're gonna add three ounces or 90 mils of sparkling rosé, one ounce or 30 mils of our soda water. Now here's where things might seem a little weird, but stay with me. We're gonna add one bar spoon of balsamic vinegar. Now if you've ever had a shrub, you'll know that vinegar can work really well in cocktails. And I'm thinking this balsamic's gonna pair nicely with the strawberry. All right, we're just gonna go full strawberry caprese salad here. So let's just tuck in a bunch of basil on the side and garnish with a little strawberry on the rim. And uh, let's see if we have a winner. Cheers. All right, smells pretty freaking amazing. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. First you get hit with that basil on the nose and that strawberry then really comes through. And that vinegar, just that hint of vinegar is really nice. Now I need to name this cocktail. Thanks for watching guys. I've uploaded a bonus video on my Patreon for the Mai Tai Spritz, which came out of Smuggler's Cove, and it is fantastic. And if you guys know any good Aperol Spritz variations, let me know in the comments. And if you wanna learn more about this drink, I highly recommend checking out the book Spritz. I've added it to my Amazon page below.